How do we end a song the right way? Let's find out. So let's pretend you made an awesome 30 to 35 second B-roll sequence and chances are you're not gonna find any music that is perfectly fitting to the length of this specific B-roll sequence. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna cut the music but now you wanna end it. And what most people like to do is they just go ahead and add a classic fade out to the end of their clip which is perfectly fine. And now let me show you what this sounds like. So this is the lazy fade out to end your song, but let me just show you a more polished way to end your song. Let's take a look first. We are at 32 seconds and 16 frames. So let's go ahead, go to the media pool and go to timeline one where I've prepared something. And this is the exact same audio file and it will end on 32 seconds and 16 frames. So let's bring this over and have a listen what this sounds like. So this just sounds way much better in my opinion and this is the technique that I'm gonna show you. So first of all, let's get rid of this compound clip and what we wanna do is we wanna create a cut right before the last beat hits. So. Let's go ahead and make a cut right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Alt and left click and drag this down to audio track number two to create a duplicate. And now on this duplicate, just right click, create a new compound clip and name this reverb, hit enter. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my effects library and then type in reverb and then just drag and drop this reverb effect onto this compound clip. And this is the reverb interface that will open up immediately after you drop the effect. So first step is we're gonna lower the room size from 250 square meters down to around 75 square meters. And then we have a bunch of settings, but we're not gonna mess with all of them. We only use two and that's the reverb time and the dry and wet output. So let's go ahead to the reverb time and this by default is set to 950 milliseconds. So we're gonna increase this to around 1.7K milliseconds and then we go ahead to the dry and wet output and we lower this to around 50%. If you're working with another piece of music, you're gonna have to change the reverb time maybe just a bit and the dry and wet output just a bit, but you can use those parameters as like a starting guide and then take a listen and then do your fine adjustments from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this. First of all, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna open in timeline. Now on this timeline, I'm gonna hold Alt and drag and drop this to make a duplicate of it. And then once we made the duplicate, we're gonna hit D on our keyboard with the audio track number two selected to deactivate it. And then we're gonna extend this by a few seconds. If we go back to timeline, one now, we can see that we can extend this something like that. This is basically how you would create this effect. So let's listen and see if we have to make any adjustments. First of all, I'm gonna lower this just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the compound clip, go to the inspector in the top right corner, activate the equalizer, activate band number four and change this to this specific line. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select band number four and drag this down ever so slightly to just cut out all the 16K frequencies. And if we take a listen now, this should sound pretty good. Perfect. Again, if you wanna make adjustments right now, you can just go to the inspector and then select effects. And now you see these three lines with the dots just click on them and you can make adjustments from there. You can lower the room size, maybe up this just a little bit and then up this ever so slightly to 60%. And if we have a listen now. So these are all the steps that you need to do to end your song the right way. So guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future, but also to help me spread out this video to even more people that might be interested in that specific topic. But with that being said, guys, hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.